Hello, welcome back to a brand new video of Mighty Ghost Hack YouTube channel. In this video, we are gonna look for the HTTPS reverse shell Python script next part of the code. And if you haven't watched the previous video of HTTP reverse shell then, I recommend to watch those two part first then watch this video. So, this video is not decided but I encountered the problem in the previous video code. And also we are going to see more features in that script so we can use it more efficiently. So watch the complete video till the end. So let me first demonstrate the problem which I faced while using that script the actual problem is that. We are not able to change the directory means we are not able to move from one folder or one path to others and. It's too important and once victim computer is restarted that script shows the startup folder as the default path. So we need to move from there. So first let me show the problem with the old script. Now here you can see the default path of the script which script is placed. And after that restart of computer you will see the path of startup folder. This is happening just because of we are creating the shortcut file and stored it into startup folder and you wanted to have this happening then you can watch our previous video. And first, let me restart the computer then we will see the path of the script. Now after restarting here, you will see the path of the script, which is change and shows in the system folders. And even if we try the change directory cd windows command, it will not work so in order to solve this problem we use the OS module which is available in Python. So we use that module and also use other methods of that module. And in this video, I'll not show you the code writing because not everyone is interested. So instead of writing code, I'll directly demonstrate you and let you know how to use it. So let me run the updated script first. Alright guys so first run the server file after that let me run the client file which is in victim machine. So once it's done it's established the connection between the server. Now let me check it's working by entering Windows commands. So here in client script, you can see the snapshot command if we enter the snapshot command in terminal. Then it will take the snapshot of victim computer and send it to the attacker so let me first demonstrate it. Alright the snapshot has been saved. Let me check in the desktop folder. Alright here you can see the victim computer snapshot. Let me try it again and show you it's working. So let's move for others command, which is search command with the help of search command. You can search any files in victim computer dot and for that. All need to give the path as well as the extension of the file. And enter file name as a star. Enter file name as star. Because it will help it to differentiate the path and extension of the file. Let me demonstrate to you by entering the command. And one thing note that it will take time to search files in computer so be patient.
All right here you can see the all the file text files which exist in the path which is mentioned. You can also grab those file by grab command. For that let me copy file name as well as the path. Here mistakenly I enter the control plus C command. Which led to exits the command let me run it again. And the next command is cd command and. As I said we use here os module which help us to change the path. So let me demonstrate you to how you can use it. And you can also move to desktop directly by entering cd desktop command. Because I entered if condition in code and I provide a path so it works fine in this case. Now let me copy any file for the delete purpose. And our last command is remove command which is also created with the help of the OS module. So with the help of remove command, we can remove the file from victim computer. And once it is get deleted then it's not available and recycle bin also. And this is it for this video. And if you want to use or wanted to add more commands in this script. For that you can get this file from my GitHub profile. I'll provide the link of this file in the video description. So that's it for this video hope you enjoy this video. And don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel. Till then see you in the next video bye.